I learned something really big about myself, which is first off, see camera angles, really cool. But I learned something really big about myself, which is I never learned how to be deserving just for myself, just for my unique perspective, just for being me. I always only learned how to be deserving through performance. And I was really good at that because I had nothing else. When I was a child, there was an abandonment in my family and I didn't feel the love that I should feel. So I decided that if I become the best performer in the world, whatever it is in, athletics, acting, anything, speaking, then I get loved. So I went out on a quest. Yes, I did the thing that excited me. Yes, I became successful, as you see. Yes, it was a great journey, but there's something that I see that I probably can even have a better journey if I learn that just by being me, I'm deserving. And I don't have to chase an algorithm like many people chase on social media, but maybe I can even be more successful because I got the people then around me, the people that follow me, that care about me. The balance in nature, trees and everything around us, they just deserving because they are. It's just human beings who think they have to perform in society. Now it's important in society that we give value. That's how the best societies are built. I give you value, you give me value. I give you value in form of coaching, you give me value in, in, in form of money, etc. There's so many things. But in relationships, which is really important, I became a person if that's romantic relationships or other relationships where I wanted to become friends with people, where I thought I have to be the best at any moment, I have to be entertaining, I have to be the best in the world. When I was really young, I thought to get all the hot girls that I wanted to get or date the girls that I wanted to get, I needed to be as successful as a rapper. I needed to be as successful as a movie star. I needed to be that person. And I was, when I was younger, I started making up stories. I started lying to impress the girl, right? To, because I thought I could only be loved, because that's the only way I learned how to be loved. I only learned how to be loved based on performance, right? Later in life, I stopped uh, telling stories because I realized telling stories never is gonna work because only the real world works. So I have to become the person. So I went on a quest to becoming the person. But even in becoming the person, even in be me being successful right now, I still learned about myself that in social interactions, I'm doing things. I'm taking the burden of responsibility to entertain the person so they like or love me, which doesn't make sense. It, it does make sense, but it doesn't. Because a lot of times, the more you're trying, the more the people are like, oh, that's weird, right? Now, I realized that in silence, whenever there's silence, when I meet a person, a new person where I think it's really important to me, I start trying to think, no, I have to like, if, if, if I'm silent, maybe she walks away or they abandon me again, right? From my childhood, they abandon me again if I'm not performing. So I start performing, but then you get more anxious and a lot of times you fuck it up. Yeah, sometimes I'm like 100%, but you know how much pressure that is? Do you know how much pressure that is? And no one ever can be 100%, by the way. So I learned recently by working with my own coach and looking at my life that I want to come to a place where I'm seeing that I'm just unique for my person. And everybody else sees it, by the way. It's so funny. Everybody else sees it, but because no one taught me. Everybody else sees my, like a lot of people, of course, who follow me on social, see my value and see my uniqueness. But it's important that we look at ourselves and see our own uniqueness, even in, in difference with other people, to see, oh, what we're doing is actually special. It's a unique perspective that we're having on this issue and that issue and this problem and this opinion. And us just being us is enough. This is really important to reflect on and this is something that I'm working on right now. As you guys know, 
I started doing these YouTube videos in a different way than I'm doing the Instagram and I'm, I'm, I'm doing things that I'm working on right now. So this is something that I'm working on right now and I've been working on it with people. In conversations, when I talk to people now and there's a silence, I'm trying to do nothing. And when I want to say something, I say something again. I only want to say something when I say something, not to please the person or perform, etc. Now, I got to say that write this on social media videos, I'm always myself. I just learned, even with any camera, if you see a TikTok video, Instagram video, I always learned being myself. Because I learned being authentic is the best way to do things. Now, this is affecting other areas of my life, like uh, re with relationships. But I do think there's a holistic thing that I need to look at, so I think also my content is going to become better. So these YouTube videos are actually me telling you guys what I'm going through at the moment. I'm trying to be more vulnerable, I'm trying to grow, which, which a lot of creators don't do, because they want you to believe that they, have no, that they have no problems, they have no anxiety, they're these healers, masters. Most of the time they're fucking liars. So I'm trying to do it this way and I'm trying to follow my excitement with no insistence on the outcome like Bashar is saying. I love Bashar, the formula, the formula of Bashar. So this is more of my excitement right now and this is more the direction that I feel like my energy is going. And if those videos get less views, okay, that's fine. I'm still going to do the videos that are really structured but I feel like I'm also attracting a different audience. If I'm just being myself, maybe I'm attracting more of an audience that cares more about me instead of the things, the tools that I give. And you, and you can learn from me while I'm doing things. So it's a double, it's a win-win. So I want to show, I need to move forward. I have my seminar, my first seminar, in-life seminar coming up. And I've been procrastinating on scheduling it, even though no, I know I do a great job. But the thing is, is I'm scared to do it at the wrong time. It's, it's, it's a brain pattern, the wrong, oh, what if I'm not totally prepared when I have it then yet? I know I just have to set it and I'm going to be ready. So that's what I'm going to do. But that's off topic. The topic for today is, I don't know if anything can be off topic, but the topic of today is to be deserving just being you. And even if I was just here in silence, right? not saying anything, that would be okay. Because if I would just chase, the more I can be myself, maybe there's more space and less resistance where more genius things can come out that excite me. So I'm trying to use it again as a practice. But most people don't use their social media as a practice. They want to win right away, make it perfect so they get loved. So right now, I can actually be really proud of myself because I'm using it as a practice and at the same time teaching you, but I'm using it as a practice of being myself. I'm using this video as a practice of being myself. So, I'm going on a quest right now and the questions that I'm asking myself is, how are, how can I do less how can I just be myself, just chatting with people and not trying to get something? And I loved something that Mark Freeman taught me is, what do you want to give in the conversation? And what do you want to give to yourself? What do you want to give, how you doing sir? What do you want to give to the other people? But also what is the things that you want to give to yourself in form of what's interesting to you. So I'm trying to in incorporate that actually in the videos that I'm doing because I want to give you guys something but I also want to talk about things that I'm interested in and I'm really interested talking about these vulnerable things right now that I'm going through because it gives me also more clarity and how I can practice that with people. And I know it's that willingness to lose. It's the willingness to lose people. You have to be willing to lose people or you can't be with yourself. I, this is one of my most famous sentences that I ever created on social media when I said, you can only have a healthy relationship if you're willing to lose that relationship for your own self-love. But now I learned I can take it further to lose that relationship for being yourself, to lose any relationship for that. 
because then only you can attract the people that fit to you.